ultrasonic cell and then being able to sequence inside the MV. Now, you can still mute this here and you can just have the drums playing. So now if you want to work with sample phrases and things like that, again, you know, I get a lot of questions on being able to take old, you know, samples from like old records and stuff and being able to use the time stretching feature and a lot of guys get confused with that sometimes. Um, so right here what we do is we have a couple of phrases. And then I have another one. And the cool thing is that it's actually all one sample, but with the MV you can actually take the same sample and copy it to different pads and just apply different root points to it so that you can trigger the same sample but different ways. Now the cool thing is I could take this and right now if I want to automatically sync these loops that I made, I can just tap the pad that I want switch BPM sync, tap the second one here, BPM sync this, take this one and BPM sync that one. Go back to our main screen here and under the phrase loops we can actually step record these in and again this is a really cool thing because instead of me trying to play it and get the you know the playing correctly so that it you know I can hold the note for as long as I like and then hope that it actually plays correctly you can actually just audio phrase step record which is a really cool thing on the MV. I can put the note duration that I want for each sample and just tap it once and then instead of here I can tell this I want the next one to play a full measure put that in so now when we play it back those drums that we already applied a shuffle to, it's really easy to come back and put this back on grid. Then another thing that you can do too that's really cool with the MV is being able to pitch shift everything. So I can even take a piece of the sample that I put there and actually detune this by two and then come to this section here, double click, and I can still sample out of this and maybe flip this into a reverse. So now in real time, get a really really old school feel if you're trying to do like you know taking hip hop back to like maybe like the early 90s or something like that I mean you could do a lot of really cool things on here with you know with your samples and stuff now if you don't want to play the original sample like that by just time stretching it and locking it in you can also take this and chop it up and get this mouse to work there we go. so we can take that out and then we can take that same sample go to our quick edit so I want to take this chop it auto chop and use the division mode and tell it that I wanted to divide it up 16 times on the pad deeply so now you've got and then you can just simply take this and assign it to a patch which now makes it a playable instrument and just drop it into the part there so you can add a little bit of delay on it so now you have your samples there and another cool thing is if you want to EQ it the MV has EQs so just go to the part so here we are we switch the EQ on and we'll just come right here and maybe just roll off some of that low end Roll off a little bit more. So now you can come back over here and just take a simple track and all you do is go and assign it to that part. 
now you can take this back, and let's say we just want to solo this for a second. All these salespeople, you've heard the front of it, all these salespeople, these salespeople, you've heard the front of it. Turned up my metronome a bit. Yeah. 